Hey, welcome to the channel. Last time I shared with you the five things I hate about van life, but the truth is this has been one of the best chapters of my life. So today I'm gonna to share with you the five things I love about van life. Van life is filled with these little gifts of gratitude and freedom. Every other week greeted with a moment you are keenly aware would not have occurred had you not been living this lifestyle. It's pretty darn cool. The first thing that I love about van life is my bed. It's versatile, it's cozy, it's memory foam, but most importantly, it's mine. The feeling of waking up every day on a bed in a home that I built with my own two hands is one of the best feelings I've ever had. The gift that keeps on giving every morning when I wake up. I've probably had better mattresses, but none felt as good as the one that was placed on the frame that was built by me. Ironically, the lack of a king size bed was the first thing on my five things I hate about van life video, but while this bed is small in stature, it is mighty in spirit. It's just a simple RV mattress that we got off amazon.com, uh, but it's served us great for the last three years. It's what's called an RV queen, which is typical of trailers and motorhomes. It's instead of the typical 80 inch head to foot length of a typical queen mattress, this one is just uh, five inches less at 75 inches uh, head to foot by 60 inches side to side. There's no sleep like the one in the bed that I built for us. And the sweet, sweet second thing that I love about van life, no rent, theoretically. My wife would be doing three month contracts in various cities where we would park in front of a friend's house or in an RV parking area of the facility or paying a small fee for a campground or KOA. So it's not like we had no rent at all. On the one or two months that was in between each of those contracts, we had a Harvest Host membership where we could stay on farms, wineries, breweries, and museum properties overnight. It's a pretty cool thing to have a membership for if you're living in any type of mobile home situation. If you're careful about where you look, you'll find cool things that you wouldn't have otherwise, and we certainly have lucked out along the way finding little nooks and crannies of beauty to park in in each place that we visited. But the prices of none of those compared whatsoever to the price of rent anywhere in any major city in the United States. I got a certain gusto under my ass when I got sober, a craving to make up for lost time. And I saw the money flying out the window to a landlord every month. My spirit jumped into formation and took on the one idea that I had, the van life and van build videos that I'd been watching for the three years previous. So as of last week, we haven't paid rent in three years. The van is paid off now and it's just an asset to us, which by the way, the van is for sale if you're interested. I built it as comfortable as I could make it so that we could sustain living in it for as long as we needed to. And to be honest, we could do it for a few more years, but we came across another idea that we got really excited about, one that we'll be announcing very soon on this channel that stole our hearts still. That lack of a rent each month just feels like a million bucks or 2,000 bucks specifically. The third thing that I love about van life is, uh, can I do no rent and no landlord or is that cheating? Okay, we'll keep that in the no rent category. For real though, the third thing that I love about van life is that it puts you in a position to make moves and accomplish things that you simply wouldn't have otherwise. With the cost of rent off your back, you can really feel that energy in your spirit to take advantage of that opportunity, start a business, further your education, deepen your spiritual life. You find new challenges to fill the holes that are left by the burdens that are no longer necessary. Simply put, we had more time and a keen awareness of that time as a gift that we should try and use as best as we had the energy for. It wasn't just time that I could afford to waste. It was the gift of time and space to have a new experience and to grow. The fact that it was now entirely my choice and therefore my loss if I didn't choose to spend my time wisely, it deepened my resolve to define what I wanted more clearly. Deep down, no human wants to sit aimless and I've spent far too much time sitting aimlessly in this life. Hi, I'm Heather. Andrew asked me to contribute something that I love about van life. The fourth thing I love about van life is that I have all my stuff with me at all times. A sweater when I get cold, which is pretty often. 
my glasses when I want to take my contacts out, my favorite snack or drink if I get hungry, a swimsuit if the opportunity arises, which it often does. It makes every day better having my stuff right there with me. But especially when we go on trips, like camping, we have our whole house with us. There's no packing, unpacking, repacking. Everything we could need is always a f just a few steps away. Thanks, babe. <laughs> the fifth thing that I love about van life is the places it took us to. Los Angeles, Twin Falls, Idaho, Ilwaco, Washington, Lincoln City, Oregon, Chico, California, Crescent City, California, Yellowstone National Park, Yosemite National Park. You can tell by that list that we mainly just explored the Pacific Northwest, but it's one of the most beautiful places in the world and there's plenty more to see than we ever got to. The rest of the country is out there waiting for us someday in the future, but my photo reel for the last three years has just been insane. We stayed at an alpaca farm, we drove the 101 at sunset multiple times, we vibed out on a rooftop on the Washington coast. We ran with the dogs in Huntington Beach. Bison surrounded our car in Yellowstone. We swam in the Rogue. We lived fully. We love van life. It'll forever be an option for us to consider. We love the show Survivor and a lot of the contestants say the same thing when they exit the show. I didn't know what I was capable of. I think a lot of people assume that van life would be too much of an inconvenience for them, but I just don't see it that way. Not only did it positively demand some flexibility from us, it drew out our resolve to ride that wave of life. It's a good wave, no matter what our fear cortex is telling us. We got out there, we took action, and the rewards were always just beyond that first step of faith. They're always there. In my experience, it never fails. So I hope that if you're watching this and contemplating van life, that you take the tiniest step today and another step tomorrow and focus on progress towards it rather than a graceful transition or the perfect van build. What one man can do, you can also. Except for Usain Bolt, you can't do that, sorry. But if I can build this, then so can you. I did this with no experience whatsoever, and I'm just an artist and musician. But I was able to learn carpentry and electrical and plumbing to put this whole thing together. There are probably classes you can take in your city. There are often open workshops that you can become a member of that gives you access to certain tools and classes that you wouldn't have otherwise. But let's make this reciprocal. Leave a gratitude list in the comments. Five things you love or five things you're grateful for about your life. Research shows that a gratitude list will better your experience each day that you do it and the overall lives of those who do it consistently. So this has been five things I love about van life by me, a tripping, farting, butt dialing, meatball with limbs, hurling 67,000 miles per hour on a mound of dirt around a flaming ball of gas, just jotting some notes down from the cockpit. Hey, look. It's everyone doing the best they can with the experience they have at the moment. Please like and subscribe and make it a peaceful day because I love you.